Good day, viewers. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, your number one reliable channel where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you. I appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel. So if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I drop any video. Trending news. The media war between Okorocha and Iediora continued. The media war between former Imo State Governor Okorocha Okorocha and Governor Emeka Iediora continued on Wednesday with the former saying his successor had only been able to achieve one thing since coming to power. According to Okorocha, of all the promises Iediora made to the people of Imo, the only one he had fulfilled was stepping on his toes and those of his family members. The former governor also accused Iediora of fighting him because of the defeat he and his party, PDP, suffered during 2011 and 2015 elections in the state. Okorocha stated this in a statement on Wednesday by his media aide, Sam Onwemiodo, adding this. The PDP-led government of Imo State had been destroying its project in order to discredit its achievements. Governor Emeka Enedioha led PDP government in the state is simply fighting back over the defeat they suffered in 2011 and 2015 at the ends of Senator Rocha Okorocha. These are also playing the politics of how to remain in power in the state, having known that they did not win the 2019 governorship election because before now, nobody had become the governor of the state with blotted figures from only three local governments out of the 27 in the state. In 2011, Senator Okorocha defeated the incumbent then the PDP candidate chief Ikedi Ohakim and produced the party's members in the state house of assembly from 27 to 6 and they are seen this time as a fight back period. In 2015, Chief Emeka Edia also lost to Okorocha and they also believe that the pressure mounted on them are uh, the APC led by Okorocha in the southeast contributed to the defeat of their presidential candidate because they could not maximally do what they know how to do best. Governor Edioha and his party are using this period too to fight back. For them too, having known that Imo remains the stronghold of APC in the southeast, they now feel that once APC is destroyed in Imo, the party has been destroyed in the southeast. That is another major reason behind the current hostility against Okorocha, his amazing achievements, and the APC members in Imo. Governor Edioa has also got about 109 billion, including the 42.5 billion Okorocha left for him. Money from the Federation accounts. The local government allocations, the internally generated revenue, the 13 percent derivation funds, but he has not filled one pot o since he came. It is also worth stating that of all the promises Governor Edia made in Imo, Imo because only one has been fulfilled, and that is the promise that he would step on Okorocha's toes. He has been stepping on the toes of the former governor and his family to the extent that Imo people are now asking him whether Okorocha and the family represent governance or he has not answered those questions. Governor Etioa has constantly accused Okorocha of ruling Imo during his eight years reign. Okorocha's who now represent Imo West at the Senate, has kept firing back at the governor, accusing him and his government of witch hunting him 
and his family members. Viewers, thank you for listening to this news. What would you have to say concerning this news that you just listened to? The fight between Rocha Okorocha and the governor of Imo State, Emeka Eedioha. If you have any comment concerning this, kindly drop your comment below. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I publish any video. Thank you and God bless you.